uh, physically, I haven't been able to the gym as much. My relationship suffered a little bit because I haven't been able to uh, give my partner as much attention as I want. And my emotions have been clouded. Um, can't see friends as much. You can't, you know, just be there for your family as much. What's going on, everyone? It's Hayden Davidson here. It is the morning of the oh sixth. It's the sixth of December, and um, racing against the time at the moment to get some more stock in in time for Christmas. Um, to 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 um, yeah, to make the most of it, cream the last bits of it before we cut off for Christmas. So uh, yeah, just about to head off to the office, and here we go. Here we are packing away in the office, just on a little break. Peanut butter. There's a peanut naked bar. Really good snacks at the moment. Really into. Keeps me going when we're working hard. Packing away at the moment. I'll see you at lunch. Hey all. Hey all. Got some lunch going on here. Lovely sandwich. Lovely sandwich. There's a bakery just next door to me, which does fantastic sandwiches and bakery stuff. So I'm just munching out to be honest absolutely munching out <laughs> every lunch so here we are so we're <coughs> we're just coming to the end of our our prepping session this for the rest of the year really the next sort of week to 10 days should be it after that we're done can't do any more up i was up late last night planning for next year just getting so excited it wasn't that sort of work that you do when you just you know you're un, you're under it and you have to get it done even though I'm so busy with, you know, just maintaining the business, I'm so excited for the growth. I love this business so much. So many ideas flowing in my mind. I just can't go to sleep sometimes. So I was up late planning for next year, planning for the growth. Website's being built at the moment. It's going to be phenomenal. Um, just really excited for everything at the moment, you know, um, <clears throat> personally and professionally. Um, but, you know, it's funny because it, obviously for years and years and years, I got no results, you know, or little results. Obviously, I started my first business at 18, 19, um, 26 now, just turned and I only feel like now I've just started figuring stuff out in business. So it really does pay to stick to stuff and just keep going and keep going and keep going. That's, that, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Oh, right, just done hours and hours of packing again. Almost done. Uh, time for a quick coffee. Um, I watch, usually put Dragon's Den on in the background when I'm doing my work, um, when I'm doing some packing. And... Um, I saw a thing, actually it was yesterday I saw this, I saw a thing, you know, Levi Roots that won the uh, won the Dragon, you know, with Peter and it's like 30, 35 million pounds, that brand and Levi's worth now, which is crazy, um, you know, 10 years later or something, um, Reggae Reggae Sauce. I remember when Peter offered him, I think it's 30 or 40%, something quite high for his brand, um, Levi accepted it straight away and what Levi said in this interview is he said, look, I'd rather have 40%, uh, I'd rather have, you know, Levi was left over 60%. He said, I'd rather have 60% of something than 100% of nothing. And I just think that is one of the most powerful f quotes that I've ever heard in my life. It's like all these, all these entrepreneurs that come in here and they turn down offers that are like 30%, 40% because they think it's just too much. Um, and then most of them, I would bet, go out of business a couple of years later and... Obviously not all, it's not always the case, but most of them do. And what they overlook is the fact that, you know, it's part greed, but it's part, you know, it's self-awareness, you know. Do they actually believe that they can get it to where this dragon can get it, right? Because if they don't, then they should probably know that. I bet, I bet a lot of them regret it. You're better off having 60, 50, even 40, 30% of something that could be a multi-million pound business, rather than 100% of nothing that you end up quitting one day. And it's just so... You can learn so many lessons from that. So many lessons. <clears throat> so many lessons. Some people, for example, in, in you know in the, in the business I do, and you know e-commerce and stuff like that. Some people would be like, "Oh, I wouldn't sell a product like that because you know it, it, there's not enough money in it or anything like that." And it's like, "Well, okay, that's fine. Then you go away and do nothing. You go and work. You know, I wouldn't do that business because there's not enough profit in it." Um, I don't really know where I'm going with this, to be honest. <laughs> Let's end that. <laughs> I, I had something in my head and it went because I need a coffee. Right, Susan. So, so, just got home. Um, I took a bit of an early one today because, do you know what? I've been working so, so, so long hours uh, getting ready for Christmas. Now I feel like we're really on top of it. I haven't got as much stock in as I would like, but I can't be beat myself up because, you know, had a crazy month last month, crazy month this month. Um, in, you know, all relevant to the size of our brand that I thought, 
you know, well, we're gonna beat myself up. I'm gonna be happy with the profit we make the last month and this month, and just get really, really prepared for next Q4, uh, and obviously prepare for the next for next year. So there's only so much that you can do. So we've got Gavin and Stacey in the background, noise. There's only so much that you can do that until it starts to literally take away from your life in many areas. It can take away from your life like emotionally, uh, physically, I haven't been to the gym as much. My relationship suffered a little bit because I haven't been able to uh, give my partner as much attention as I want. And my emotions have been clouded. Um, can't see friends as much. You can't, you know, just be there for your family as much emotionally, um, not just literally, but emotionally. I can't really describe it. It really, really does take its toll if you work way too much. And it's not the lifestyle that I want. The whole reason I work for myself is to really, really make sure that I can enjoy all aspects of life with the freedom. So what's the point in doing it if it's just for the money? So now obviously there's an opportunity. There's there's a certain stage that it's going to be like that, you know, that start up, I believe. Um, and now and then it may be like that, but I don't want it to be like that always. But, you know, that's that's not what I've signed up for, you know. I want things planned, systemized, so that I can enjoy life at the same time. Um, reap the rewards, if, we, if you will. So, yeah. Anyway, so, I'm gonna do a couple more hours this evening on the laptop, but it's more just sort of like, you know, just calming things down at the moment get the last few shipments in for Q4 um, and then can plan next year which is actually the funnest bit because I'm a creative I'm a proper creative and I, I get my juices flowing when I'm not just doing like manual labor or just grinding out the admin it's just when I'm being creative when I get a chance to be creative cr come up with new ideas designs plan the future plan products oh that really really gets to me uh, and it brings out the best in me to be honest so self-awareness is key obviously um, for, to understand that it took me a while to understand but yeah I'm um, looking forward to creating some exciting products for next year under our brand and uh, go forth and conquer <laughs> have a fantastic evening everyone I'll see you all soon